Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Halloween Horrorthon. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite Nintendo 64 games, Banjo Tooie. Um, this is kind of Halloween-ish, um, kind of not. The main reason I'm putting it on here is if you've been watching these videos and you haven't quite placed the background music I've been using, it is from Banjo Tooie and it is the Witchy World theme. Uh, Witchy World is kind of this defunct theme park that Gruntilda has created. Um, and, uh, you know, based on, on her, each, each part of the park has a different, like, kind of world to it. They have, like, this weird lava mountain spire thing. They have, like, a cowboy dusty trail type situation on one end. Uh, space theme. But the whole thing does kind of have a weird kind of creepy vibe, and the music is perfect. I mean, you're listening to it right now, and you've been listening to it all month. Um, the cool thing I like about Witchy World specifically is it feels like that was the first time in that game where kind of the backtracking really spread out. I mean, every level has backtracking to it, but that level has all sorts of different entrances from different worlds, um, and it's one of the bigger kind of collaborative levels. I mean, you have to save, I think like one of the Triceratops from the dinosaur world is there. Um, you can go through different doors, it'll take you to different worlds. Um, the spaceship guy, you bring him from another world back into there, unlocking the spaceship flying shooting minigame. Um, so, I mean, the hub world itself is obviously the hub world, but if there's like a hub level, I would maybe call that one the hub level. I mean, it just there's so many connections from there to the rest of the game. It's probably my favorite level in the game. That being said, <laughs> The boss, uh, I forget his name, I think it's like Patches, he's like a big inflatable T-Rex where you have to shoot Patches off him with a grenade eggs. Actually my least favorite boss, um, he's less hard in the newer remakes where you can play with the kind of controllers we're used to, but uh, I don't know if it's because I was younger or it was just at the time, I'm not sure, but I remember using the Nintendo 64 controller to fly around and kill that thing was one of the hardest things I had to do in that game. Um, like I say, you know, I haven't played it on the 64 in a while, so maybe it's not that bad anymore. Uh, I know it's definitely not that bad on the on the 360 or the Xbox One, wherever you want to play it uh, nowadays, which I highly recommend. Uh, if you have an Xbox One, the Rare Replay Collection is the is, is a must own. I mean, you get like it's like 30 games, and at the time it was only 30 bucks, and now you can probably get it for nothing. But uh, yeah, if you haven't played Banjo Kazooie or Banjo Tooie, you definitely should check it out. And when you get to Tooie. Uh, make sure to enjoy Witchy World because it's definitely one of my favorites. Uh, anyway, that's gonna do it for us today on a Halloween Horrorthon. You know, I try to try to keep these episodes short. Um, but uh, you know, uh, talk about uh, some banjo, man. Uh, throw down in the comments. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Like the video or dislike, whatever. And uh, yeah, as always, take it easy. <laughs>